It was 2013. It was 2013. <laughs> React was just released to the open source community. And in the inaugural blog post, Pete Hunt ended with the statement, HTML is only the beginning. I believe we're on the verge of stepping into that promise. Yes, many strange things have been done with React already. Uh, but it's about to get even stranger. So to start off, let's just take a quick look at what's happened in the React renderer world uh, throughout the past four years. Um, of course, we saw React DOM come out of first. It wasn't called React DOM, but it included both a DOM uh, client and server render. So two different views of the same exact component tree. We saw React art for running to Canvas, SVG, XML, not XML, VML. Uh, React shallow render, React test render um, that supported uh, basically JSON views of it. And we saw React Native as the first official real render that could do something else uh, useful, power different platforms. And now we have an alpha release of React VR. And of course, the community saw that this was possible, that React could do more. Uh, so they began to experiment. Uh, the first real public view we probably saw was uh, at the same React Conf that React Native was announced. Joffer Hussein from Netflix uh, talked about how they used React to power their Gibbon rendering engine. Uh, but even before that, we saw uh, some things with React 3 uh, and Web Audio. Uh, and then since then, we've seen a prolifer proliferation of a few uh, different experiments between React Bless, React Hardware, Titanium, X11, A-Frame, Worker DOM Music, and about a dozen or so uh, more. And all of this happened during a time in which creating renderers was rather painful. Just to calm that guy down, we'll put him on pause. Uh, renders. Like we saw a little bit with the injection stuff that Ken just showed. Uh, to get access to that, you were dependent on React internals that were unsupported. Uh, they would break in patch releases. To get access to these internals, you had to do some really weird things. Uh, in addition, integrating with the React dev tools or the rest of the ecosystem was really painful. Um, like this random string of text that's going to show up on the screen that includes WebSockets and uh, you'll see an eval. Uh, this is actually taken from React Native. This is what they would have to do and what you would have to do implementing a renderer to uh, work with the, with the ecosystem. Yep, grab some more React internals. They're not supported, but I sure like doing it. <laughs> but Fiverr really changes everything. We heard from Lynn and the rest of the team what it's going to enable for product development, uh, but it also has a renderer API. And as we come to expect from the React team, to write a renderer is only going to lear involve learning a few concepts and a dozen methods. Um, the barrier to entry to experimenting and create renders becomes much, much lower. Uh, I believe in this world, in this future, uh, additional experiments or additional possibilities will open up. Things like we'll see from Michael Jackson tomorrow with React Router, which historically has been pretty well tied to the DOM uh, and the server, it hasn't really worked on even like React Native or the official renderers, um, is going to be able to go anywhere else you could take React, anywhere you want to create a renderer and could benefit from this abstraction. Uh, Sheng Lu's React Motion, which is a generic library for tweening between things, um, is portable already today. Here, if, if you're familiar with the project, you've likely seen his re-implementation of this framer demo. Uh, don't mind the frame rate, but uh, it actually already works today in React Blessed. Uh, <laughs> you would think that with a terminal, we get a better frame rate than that, but it's probably because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and even common ecosystem tools, such as React Dev Tools, which half a million of you have installed and the other half million don't use, <laughs> uh, becomes a much more first class experience. As a render implementer, you just add it to your package.json. Uh, this is an example of it using, on the left, that's uh, some React hardware code, so it's actually powering an Arduino over Fermata. Totally not practical, but it is a lot of fun. Or uh, once again, React Blessed. Um, so it's escaping uh, the, the, the confines it used to be in. Uh, at the, when React Native was announced, uh, the team adopted the phrase, learn once, write anywhere. With Fiverr, you will be able to react anywhere and render everywhere. Thanks.